Well, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out just doing a little photo walk and I'm heading down into Benton, Tennessee, uh, which is a little small town sort of east of Cleveland toward the Okoe River and Chilhowee Mountain, Benton Falls. I've never actually been through what might be considered the downtown area of Benton. If there is one, I've just been through it on 411 Highway. So I'm gonna get off the road and see if there's a place that I can sort of walk around do a little photo walk with my camera, and then I'm going to make a few stops along the way uh, over making my way to Etowah and then over to Charleston. And uh, I'm using the Canon R6 Mark II, and I am shooting on the 28 millimeter pancake lens. Because I am looking at old towns and old situations, I decided that I would vlog old school. So rather than bring my Pocket II along, to video, I'm just going to video on the Canon R6 Mark II with the 28 millimeter lens. I am filming in HD 60 frames per second. And the reason I'm doing that, uh, first of all, is because I may want to do some slow motion at some point. But second of all, I left my neutral density filters at home. And so the best way to control the sunlight is to up the um, the frames per second, which ups the shutter speed to 1 over 125, and uh, keep my ISO as low as possible. So we will, I'm also, I'm still shooting in C-Log, so I'll have a little bit of play there. And I decided that I would start here at the Nancy Ward Cemetery. I'll put a link in the description about Nancy Ward if I can find one. This is just a little historical marker spot just on the outskirts of Benton, a little cemetery. And I, I think it's Nancy Ward and maybe her children. I'm not really sure the markers here are not marked any longer as to who is in these graves. But um, yeah, we're going to get started. So this is a prime example of one of the things that I'm looking for as I'm driving around. Not only am I looking for like older, abandoned, dilapidated buildings, because those are just really interesting to me, but I'm also looking at older churches, especially old white churches with a steeple. Now, I kind of wish I had my 15 to 35 on the camera because I would get more dramatic shots, but I have my 28 millimeter. I'm gonna do what I can. I'm gonna walk around and take some pictures. So I've taken a little walk around a few blocks of Benton. I don't want to get into the residential areas as much, but you know, there's just not a lot here. There's two or three blocks. So I've taken a few pictures, especially the courthouse, which has some interesting um, possibilities. So I took a few pictures there. I'm going to drive across 411 to the other side just to see what's over there before I head to Etowah, where I know there's a lot of places to walk around. <laughs>
Well, I made it down to Etowah, and um, the sun is really, really bright, which I figured for photography is not going to be that big of an issue for me. But for the video, <laughs> I'm going to have to find places in the shade like this to try to record anything, and then I'm going to have to stop looking at the monitor over here and looking at the lens over here. It is uh, something that I do a lot. And I hate it when people do that on their videos, and I'm sure you've probably hated it so far that I've done it on mine. But here we are. And behind me is the LNN train station. Now, if you know me at all, no, most of you don't, but while I was working in Knoxville, I worked at the LNN STEM Academy, which is in the old LNN train depot in Knoxville. It's a beautiful, beautiful school and a, I don't know, it's probably a 125-year-old building now. And so this building is, has always been really interesting to me as well. I'm going to take a walk through it real quick, and then we'll walk around downtown. So Etowah is basically just a kind of a hole in the wall kind of town. It is made up largely of antique stores, a few restaurants here and there. And we're going to take a walk around and uh, down this main street, of course, on the other side of the street, and then a block or two behind there before we head back to the car. So I was walking down the main street and I was taking this picture. I, I'm, I'm gonna put it up here even if it doesn't turn out good. I was taking a picture of this sign um, just to see if I could find anything interesting in it. And as I was walking down past, I got confronted by a young man on the street corner wanting to know why I was um, pointing my camera at him um, while I was taking the picture. And I told him that I was taking a picture of this sign, and he said, well, yeah, but you have me in the picture. I said, sir, I, I don't even remember you being in the picture. So I'm putting it up here so that I can see where he was. Now, he didn't give me a hard time. He, he accepted what I told him. But um, I've never been stopped before, ever, for taking a picture. Um, heard a lot about it, but it never happened to me until today. Say, hubby. If you want to get interesting, old, dilapidated images, it always pays to walk the back alleys rather than the front streets, which is what I'm doing now. And, you know, and there's not a whole lot of really interesting new things here. It's just, I don't know, certain shapes, certain, the way certain things fit together. Um, I'll put a few pictures up here so you can see what I'm talking about. They just... They, they call out to me in some way. I don't really know how. I don't know how to explain it. I just like the way they look. It's not going to win any awards. It's not going to sell anywhere. I just like the picture. And I guess that's really all that photography is about. What do I like? A lot of stuff.